Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? So there's the first panel going in so it's fairly straight um, I don't think any calves will duck under there if they do whatever I can always bring some I might bring some gravel anyways and sprinkle it along the outside then the guy can walk on them but whatever I think it'll be just good okay so now here's what we got we want to move the horses in horse can go in here now whatever easy as that so I have to uh, here we go good enough say so I'm gonna put a post right at the end right there I'm gonna put another one right here right down on here stick it down right here then I'll chain that to the post and then I'll chain that to the post. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Whoa, slippery out here. Okay, well, I'll get a post in here and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So then I'm gonna have to build, custom build, the same panel as this, but smaller. So I can put it in here. From there, from there, to the stake there so I'm gonna pound a post there so then I can start with my regular panels going that way and then I'm just gonna have to build gates and come and bring the torch or whatever and cut holes and then mount the gates on so that's the plan there but uh, yeah I guess let's get going here I'll talk to you in a few okay guys Here's our first one in. Panel set in. So I gotta get go to town and get a box of chain. And I'm gonna go around there and then put a threaded rod through each link and tighten it up so that it sucks it right tight to the post. So if the cattle try to go underneath, they can't lift it up. Same thing here on that one, but that one will be around two panels going around there. So for here. I'm gonna have to uh, uh, measure from there to there and make a panel to fit in there anyway okay so as you can see we're downhill here a little bit so I'm gonna have to shim up that foot and that foot to keep it straight and then I'll suck them all against the Post with a chain after I get the next one here because the next one's going to hold the gate. So, and then we'll put a post like over here is what I was, what I was trying to say to you before. So I'll come in against here and drill a post in the ground right here straight across. And that way the gate's got something to uh, chain to. So there's the start. Looking not too bad. Sure is hot out though. Anyway, there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, actually I won't put that in the dirt. That would be dumb. I'll get my fucking pencil out of there now. Hang on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is is it hot out? I hate when it gets this hot. I'm not good with the heat. Anyways, so from this post to there is longer than 20 feet, 24 feet, which I was just going to stick that panel in, but seeing as I got to make something anyway, I'm going to make a panel and then mount a gate coming over here 
So it's going to be the whole length. I think it's about 28 feet. I don't know. I haven't measured it yet. But we're going to get it drawing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bow gate up in here with a gate in that area there. So I'll get something drawn up. And then we'll go ahead and measure that. And uh, then I guess we'll have to go to the shop. And... Okay, so I need 26 foot 7. Total length. I could probably go a little bit wider if I have to. Let's go 8 maybe. Because I can... Uh, got a little bit of room there yet where I can squish these other panels together. Uh, that one can go out and go down or whatever. Whatever we have to do here so now I gotta measure how far from here and where I want to mount the next gate so I gotta go from here down to about wherever in here somewhere where I'm gonna put that gate was it hot there a little bit? Oh, you will learn. Keep going. It. Nice job, son. Those are both his welds. That's good, yeah. Very good. Holy shit, eh? Hey, how's that? Good. There, okay, Summer can do it on the other side. So here's the thing what I got we're making here. Uh, we're going to run su sucker rod through here. We'll have to get it welded. It's got all the pieces cut up. So we're going to weld in here. It's going to go past and then come up and then go over and then back down to that corner there and I'm gonna put a gate in there. That way the cows can walk through there and that pipe there is just gonna sit directly on the ground. My second upright on this side is going to have, uh, what's it gonna have, uh, shit. Have hooks there so it goes into the eyelets on the tub. So that's the plan. So here's what we got. I'll zoom out a little bit. Here we go. So I got the frame. Another cross member, another cross member, another cross member, the top and the side, and then this is going to go right along the ground. That's why we made these a little bit taller. So they're going to be at least five feet high. Now, I'm going to tack these in and go back into my book and see wherever uh, 11 feet makes me. And that's where that one there has got to be because i got to make a gate on uh so when this is stood up like this the gate's gonna go this way back and forth against the back wall so and then i'm gonna stand this up so this will be a walk through gate here to move cows through and then we're gonna have to weld uh hooks on here like that so that they drop into the tub i'm gonna line them up and then weld something on them but there's the frame anyway. It's not welded yet, but it's got all the pieces cut. And it's too fucking hot. I'm going to shut her down here pretty quick. Probably finish it up tonight, but anyway. That's what she's going to look like. Just like that. Okay, boys. Well, we got her welded up. I got to uh, flip it over yet, of course. But I triple passed every weld on here. So that's kind of nice. Well, I just got back from Nick's, Amanda's, Ivan, Roxanne's place. Sophia and Keegan. So if you guys want, you can go watch his video. South Sass Farmer while you're there. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this channel. Anyway, you guys are wondering about Billy. Here he is. Hey, old Billy. You look light in the back. 
Hey, you're all covered in pollen. Won't be pollinating fuck all now. Anyway. Get out of the way. Gotta go let the Flint's horse out of the barn. I gotta put him with the other guy so we can go eat some hay. And uh, I'll get back to work on that uh, panel that we got started there. So anyway, see you in a few. Right, Seven? Okay, boys. Whew. I never took a break, but I think I'm pretty much done for tonight anyways. So we got the bars in. I'll show you what I did here. Some of these weren't quite long enough, so I stuck a joint between the two. And I only had four lengths left on a 20, they're about 24, 25 feet. So what I done is I stuck a one inch tubing over top and I tacked it. I'm gonna weld them all right up, but that was a joint where I didn't have any uh, any joints itself like this so that should be good okay so here's what I got so far got all the rods in got them all welded up I'm just gonna do the ends I think because it's not gonna really much matter because I'm gonna have uh, a fucking thread of rods go through here for to hang the gates anyway so I'm not going to worry about that too much. And, uh, yeah. Now, where is that piece that I made? So here's going to be the drop pin. Right there. So I just bent it. Bent it. Good enough. See how hot it is here. So fuck juice. Just burning hot before. On a guy. So here's what's going to happen here, boys. So this piece here, I'm going to weld this some bits like this on here. And then this piece here will drop into the, actually I might have to go more now that I got it here. I might have to go a little more. Good thing I've seen that. So hang on, i got to bend these a little bit more. All right, I better get my glove on here. Ah, here it is. Anyway. Not sure how hot this is going to be yet, but let's check it out. Oh yeah, she's toasty. So here's what I got now. This is going to be better. There, you see the difference now between there? That's way more. I can get my hand in there easy. Before I couldn't, so. Anyway. I guess I'm gonna weld that on. I'll leave, it, uh, I'll leave it up on this one for now. I'm gonna weld this, these two uh, little pins on here. I'm gonna have to get some measurements, mark it where I need them, mark it with the B, put it in the oven with Billy and me. Okay, so measure from the bottom, I think was 16 inches, so. Where I need to measure 16 inches is to here, because I don't want it to go past. So if I'm 16 inches to about here, that should leave me lots of lots of pin to drop into that hole. So anyway, I guess I'll uh, get to her here. I'll show you when it's done, boys. Okay, so now the next step is I got my pins tacked on. Should be good. Now we're gonna go ahead and weld these up. So I'm just gonna weld here, over the top, and down back on the other side. Right here. And then do the same on this guy. Down, around, and down to the bottom. And then hopefully, when I go to take this outside and set it up in there, this will go inside of the tub. I'm hoping. So, we'll see what happens. I even give it an extra Extra half an inch on here, so it was about 54 inches, so I went 54 and a half up to make sure that this has enough room in here that this doesn't hit. And down here was 15-ish, and I'm right about 15 and a half on that mark there, so we should be good. 
All right. As you can see, we got her done. The triple pass on everything, so. I was gonna put some braces up here, but I figured we didn't need it because the gate's gonna be hanging on this end. So. And it's not a great big gate either, it's only like a five foot gate, so. Anyway, we got it all welded up here. Both sides, the pin. Should be good to go. I got a big hammer out there if I gotta tweak these over a little bit or whatever to uh, get them to go into the hole, so. Anyway, we should be all right, but I gotta move some stuff out of the way. Gotta move Army out of the way and then lean it up against Army and then pick it up from this side. I gotta come in from this way. Pick it up, so. Anyway, see you in a bit. After measuring twice and it's still too short, I finally got her. So, let's see. Tell me what you think here, boys. I think I should start making some of these because this is pretty mint. Anyway, so now it's one piece with the tub. I was going to drill some holes. I still might uh, drill some holes in there and get some cotter pins in there so the cows can't lift that off of there. But So what I'd done first time is I measured it here. I thought, I thought it was 54. Turns out it was 64. Ouch, you fucker, so hot in there. Anyway, she's good now. Nice and straight. Right down the old alleyway there. As you can see, those other uh, panels need to be tipped up, but this is pretty sweet. So now all I got to do is uh, push that in a little bit here. Wrap that chain around this one, and then I'll snub that up to the... Uh, post here and I think what I'm going to do is uh, pound a post right here somewhere and that way I can uh, chain this to this post because I got to have a gate a gate right here that goes to here is my plan so well that yeah I might do that because then I can get them right in the tub here right away so I think that's the plan so I'm going to have to pound a post uh, I don't know there somewhere and I'm going to have to pound a post down here somewhere. I think I'll probably go, I don't know. I'll figure that out when I get going. I want to measure it out and get these all tipped up. Like, because you see they're crooked right now because the ground is goofy. So I'm going to put some blocks under these feet, tip it up straight, and then get some good chain and chain it right around the bottom of the post there so that's the plan but as you can see everything's chained together and should be good to go i gotta build a piece for right there yet so i don't know if, i don't have enough steel right now because i use it all up on here so anyway that's kind of her i gotta put a gotta build a gate for there yet Got to build a panel for here yet. This here, I don't know. I might just use some new steel. I got some uh, two and a half inch square I might use for here just to get this closed in. Probably be good enough, I think. And I'll do the same thing here on those eyelets as I did on here. So as it turns out, I guess I didn't have to be this much room in between here, but that's okay, that works out all right anyways. So, I guess for now, that's probably enough for this vidya. Uh, I'll have to get some more steel and uh, I'll bring you back in the next one. I gotta, do, well, we'll see, I might just move, move some more panels around and kind of get something closed off in here, then we can at least use this maybe. Uh, and go from that, tie over there where that gate is down with one with a gate and then I might just uh I don't know put something in there I guess for now like I said I'd like to have all this whole wall made of drill stem and sucker rod then I know it's going to be tough but hmm. 
anyway, I guess that's good enough for now. So we'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Tell all your friends. And remember, go to uh, South Sass Farmers channel and check out that AIing video where we bred his cows for him here the other day so that was hotter than hubs of hell holy mackerel i think i lost three pounds that day then gained it back with subway but that's okay so yeah while you're over there you might as well give him a sub or two and uh like and keep his channel going he's going pretty fast here so that's good anyway i'm gonna sign you off and maybe if i get some of this stuff made i'll add it on the end of the video here so we'll see how things go anyway thanks for watching see you in the next one